Chatterbaits are definitely one of my absolute favorite baits out there. And today I wanna to give you just one really simple chatterbait tip that will make your life a lot easier, especially if you fish a chatterbait around a lot of wood cover. Now, before we get into this video, as always, it's brought to you by my apparel company, Fin Fishing. I have USA made sun shirts, protect you out there on the water, hats, gloves. I have a lot more USA made stuff that's coming out soon that I'm pumped about. So if you want to help support the channel, click those links down below. All right, let's talk about a chatterbait. A chatterbait to me, uh, obviously when a chatterbait kind of came onto the market, it absolutely blew the doors. I, I, I mean, every tournament was being won on it. It's still a very effective bait, a tournament winning bait all the time. But something that a lot of people hate about a chatterbait is that it's not very good typically when you're fishing it around wood cover. And I've actually shared this tip before on the Bass Fishing HQ channel, but it's always been a part of a video and not a full video. And this is why I created this channel because I just wanna give you a simple tip. Now, the reason that chatterbaits aren't usually good in wood is because of the trailers that we use on them. A lot of the trailers that we use are like this. This is your simple Kitek style trailer. And this is actually my favorite um, chatterbait trailer, which is a Yamamoto Zaco. Now, as you, as you can see this Zaco or Zaco, whatever you call this thing, um, it's kind of shaped like a shad where it's kind of, it kind of is flat vertically if you will. So the thing about this particular trailer, if you fish this in wood, this is what happens. Say this is a limb. When this bait comes over the limb, it rolls. See how it's already wanting to roll? It wants to roll because of that trailer. And because it wants to roll, that all of a sudden literally makes that hook go right into my finger or, or the wood. And that's what happens all the time. And it's literally just because of the trailer. And so to fix this, all you gotta do is put a different style trailer on there. And so the trailer that you want to use is a beaver style trailer like this. This is a, I think this is a Strike King uh, beaver. I'm not even sure what it's called. One of my favorite baits to use actually on the, um, the back of a chatterbait uh, that's like this is the Strike King structure bug. Um, and I trim it up usually, but the thing is that you wanna rig this bait actually so that your hook is perpendicular to like the flat part of this trailer. So let me just show you cause it's gonna be easier for me to show you than tell you. Cause obviously I'm stumbling over my words today. So I'm gonna rig this up just like so. Pop it out the top feed it on up and that's the way I'm going to rig it. Now what happens here is that you have that same tree branch sticking out, right? When that bait goes over it, look, it doesn't roll. It doesn't roll at all because why? It's just hitting that trailer and that trailer is literally keeping that hook pointed straight up. The difference between fishing this around wood cover and this around wood cover will blow your mind. You will get, I mean, you can literally bring this over a limb like you do a square bill or like you would a spinner bait and you're not going to get hung. Now I'm not saying it's 100%. You know, you are going to still get hung from time to time, but this greatly helps you to be able to fish a chatterbait around wood cover. It's something that I do all the time. It's also a great way to fish a chatterbait around uh, lily pads because it kind of kicks, it kind of kicks the, like if you're fishing this over lily pads or, or like around the stems, it kicks that bait kind of away from the lily pad itself. So a really simple tip, but a very effective tip. I hope it helps you guys to catch a lot more chatterbait fish in the future. So if you guys want to watch the video that I did yesterday, I'm going to click it or put it right here. And uh, without further ado, I'll see you tomorrow.